Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new table from existing table in database. So I have this database name contacts. I'm using PHP my admin to manage my MySQL database and I have this contacts database inside which I have employee table. Okay, and when I select that, you can see I have a bunch of fields that I don't want to use. For example, I don't want to use company name, address, then zip, state, phone to, and website address. So instead, I just want to use first name, last name, country, email, and that's all. Okay, so I'm going to select all these fields out of which only choose few ones and create a new table. Now for that, I'm going to use SQL tab here inside PHP my admin. And here I'm going to write a query. Okay, so let me remove this. Okay, you can click on clear as well. Now here we're going to write our first script. So first type in create then you choose table name that table let's say I want to name it form okay or you can say registration form or any other with underscore in it I just want to use form as my table name okay next thing we have to use as keyword then use select now from our employee table I want to select let's say first name then last name also country then email okay so we have one two three and four field okay if you don't want county you can also use city if you want but I think these four fields are enough okay if you want you can also use website address or a phone number field or simply zip whichever you want let's go with zip for now okay so one two three four five I have five fields now in my this table and I have to specify which table I want to take it from so it is employee table okay so create table table name is form as then I'm selecting these five fields from employee okay so when I run this query a new table will be generated now I'm going to click on go button and see what happens okay if there are any errors with this query then it will be notified to me okay for example I have to specify let's say a period in between or comma whatever let me click on go button and see what happens okay and it says it return empty okay so let's go ahead and check out our database again and here you see a form table is created now and we can see it has the data that we just wanted it to have okay so first name last name county email and zip this is the data that I wanted my form to have and now from employee table this five fields are separated and created into new form okay so this is how you create a new table from your existing table